What if I told you that aliens are not on distant exoplanets, but just right next to us, in our solar system? But that's not possible, right? Earth is the only planet in our solar system that can sustain life. Well, let's find out. You see, for life to evolve, you don't need that much. Just liquid water, energy, protection, like an atmosphere, for example, and oxygen. I'm sure you already know we won't find all of that on Mars, neither on Venus. But what if we look up to smaller objects, like moons? Because Europa, a moon of Jupiter, seems to be perfect for sustaining life. Its surface is a thick layer of ice that is 10 to 30 kilometers, and right underneath it lies an ocean of water 100 kilometer deep, with a volume estimated to be two to three times the volume of all of Earth's oceans combined. And it's believed to be salty, much like our own seas. Okay, so water, check. But what about the atmosphere? The issue is that Europa's atmosphere is one trillion times thinner than Earth's atmosphere, offering no breathability and little protection from cosmic radiation, making the surface most likely unable to sustain life as we know it. But the thick ice above the ocean could shield life below from cosmic rays. Thus, protection, check. Now, the two last things Europa needs to be habitable is energy and oxygen, and being next to Jupiter, is kind of a cheat code for Europa, since gravitational interactions with Jupiter provides a continuous energy source to Europa, which could support simple organisms. Moreover, radiation from Jupiter breaks water ice into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen then escapes into space, while the oxygen stays on Europa. This might help create conditions similar to Earth's oxidized oceans. So, energy and oxygen, check. Wait, does this mean Europa is habitable and we will find aliens in our solar system? Hmm. It's not that simple, this is all theoretical. We might discover extraterrestrial life, or we might find nothing at all. We don't know for sure what's in that ocean, but what we do know is that Europa is not the only potentially habitable moon in the solar system. Enceladus, Titan, Ganymede, Callisto are also potentially sustaining some form of life. Can you imagine this? Our solar system alone contains five potential habitats for extraterrestrials. But what if we actually find life on those moons? It could be just some simple cell to maybe some big-ass leviathan or even an intelligent species, which is still way more unlikely. This would be a good news, right? I mean, if we do find alien life, we will know for sure that we're not alone in this big universe. But actually, finding alien life on those water worlds may put humanity in some sort of danger. You see, since many years, we are searching for alien life, and we've never seen even just a hint of an advanced civilization. So if we do find some fish, or worse, an intelligent species right here in our solar system, this will show us that we're not special, that aliens are common, and probably in every other star system. And if that's the case, why didn't we find any? Simply because advanced civilizations are probably all dead. They probably all encounter a difficulty, like a deadly virus that killed all of them, making them unable to contact us or to show sign of life because they're dead, LOL. This is called a great filter. And if aliens' life is very common as the cosmos, we might be headed to one. We might encounter the same filter as thousands of other civilizations had before, and we will probably not survive it and go extinct. This could be the reason why we seem to be alone in the universe. On the other hand, if we do not find anything on those five moons, it would be less likely for humanity to literally die. The downside, is that we won't be able to know if we are alone or not. But in reality, this is all theoretical. We might discover aliens' life on those moons, and it does not mean that we are going to die no matter what. In fact, a mission is supposed to land on Europa in 2029. If we're still alive, we might discover, well, something like this. 